because we've been following a breaking news situation in Seattle's International District. That is where firefighters have been battling a fire at a three-story shopping center on Weller Street and 8th Avenue. King 5's Kira Alfallen is there live at the scene this morning. And Kira, we can tell that this is likely impacting several businesses there. Yeah, good morning. It is impacting several businesses and we can still see flames coming from the top of the building. It's a little bit hard to tell uh, from your view here, but it is a pretty intense fire. We know we saw it as we were driving in um, from South King County on I-5. Many other people who are standing out here describe seeing it uh, high up in the sky, that smoke from I-90. So this is the scene here at 8th and Weller right now. Firefighters still working on this. As you can see, they're fighting the fire uh, from the skies. You can see a ton of water just pouring out of the building as they try to really salvage what they can of this building. So 911 calls actually started pouring in at around 4.30 this morning. And when crews arrived, Flames were shooting from the top floor and people could see the thick black smoke from miles away. Uh, once firefighters started to attack the flames, they soon realized that the fire was just too intense. They moved into defense mode and got out of the building because they were afraid one of the floors was going to collapse. So the building houses several businesses, including a bakery, a chiropractor's office, a travel agency. Those owners will have to assess the damage once the fire is out and they can safely go inside. For now, it's too early to tell what started this fire. So right now, this intersection here, back out here live at Weller and 8th is closed, so you'll have to avoid this area in the meantime. We're not sure if anyone was injured. Of course, once we have any more details about how this started, any details at all, we will bring you the very latest right here on King 5 News. For now, I'm live here in the International District, Kara L. Fallen, King 5 News.